Hey guys, this is Rick and welcome to the Wasteland. This is the new 1.8 customization that you can do in the overworld. And uh, I've created a, uh, a uh, Wasteland world here. This is actually an ocean biome. Uh, oh, deep ocean it says actually. It's an ocean biome. Uh, I started this off with a uh, bonus chest to give you... You know, because uh, it's going to be a tough one, I think, to uh, to get going on this one. There are some trees and stuff here. So, yeah, this is a... Uh, in 1.8, you can, you can now customize the overworld. Uh, there's some tall grass there to get seeds, but you need the regular grass. And I think there's some over here. I've... Uh, See what's our what's our height here? Forty nine. Okay, cool. Uh, I created this preset. You, you go into haha. Look at that. You go into uh, you go into uh, customized world, not customized super flat, but customized world, and you can set all these parameters. And so what I've done is I've created an ocean world where the ocean level is like a one but i went in and bumped up all the ores all the way up to 128 height so now you're going to have diamonds and all that kind of stuff spawning uh there's going to be dungeons as you can see there's mine shafts here and the only thing missing here in this area is grass which uh i know that grass has um Oh, here we go. Here's grass here. Okay, cool. So there is grass. Uh, you're not going to have any any major uh, uh, large bodies of water. It's just going to be the small little lakes. Uh, since this is an ocean biome, there is a, a trees, so that's good. Got wood. It's an ocean biome. There is tons and tons of gravel. But all of the ores go all the way up to 128 on this as well. And I bumped up the frequency of them just a little bit. So you should be able to find uh, diamonds with coal and iron and all the rest of it. Um, gold. So as far as the ores are concerned, uh, they're going to be around in and easily accessible as you can see I bumped up the vein on the diamonds and stuff and I figured you know there's no more ocean in the world the, the ocean you know global warming has uh, dried up the oceans so all of these ores that have been underwater for all these millennia are now available and you know this I think this would be a kind of a fun challenge world you know you'd have to find yourself some uh, uh, some grass and what's the seed on this one here? Uh, there's the seed. Okay. Not bad. Kind of a short one, actually. <laughs> you might have to try a bunch of them. You know, you you want to try to get a probably some grass in your spawn areas just to see if uh, just to see if animals going to spawn. I you know, I don't know if they spawn in the ocean biomes or not. Uh, but there are, but there is wood, so you can get. There are trees, so you can get your wood, get your saplings, so you have the renewable source. Of course, there's going to be a lot of these. A lot of these mine shafts are exposed. There's going to be stronghold, uh, as well as must be a lava. Yep, there's a little bit of lava there. I've got lava lakes turned off though, so you all you're going to get is those little pieces of lava. But uh, with the mine shafts, you're going to going to get. Uh, oh, look at that! Wow. That's a good haul. Look at that. That's really good. Um, with the mine shafts, you're going to be able to get uh, melon seeds and um, uh, other stuff like that. So you should be able to, and there's plenty of tall grass, so you should be able to get get at least wheat going. Um, kill a zombie to get a carrot going. And um, as far as potatoes... Mm, that one might be a little tougher to do, but there are going to be some uh, there are going to be some uh, 
caves for you to explore, of course. And I bumped up the frequency of dungeons as well, so should be a lot more dungeons should be a lot more frequent. So the uh, preset's going to be in the description below. Just go into Customize World and uh, select Preset, uh, Preset, and then you can just paste it in there. But uh, yeah, the Wasteland Challenge World. Uh, this might be kind of fun to mess around with and just, uh, you know, they've got a bunch of uh, presets in there already that you can look at. One's called Drought, which is very similar to this one. Uh, but I, what I did on this one is I bumped up the oars because uh, the oceans are gone. So, you know, all of those oars that were hidden before are now all exposed to you, for you. Uh, to Oh, there's a lot of grass over here. Yeah, this is a good spot over here. So you, you're definitely going to have uh, places where you can, where you have grass. Um, you know, if you can, well, generating terrain, I guess. Uh, if you can get yourself set up as far as enchanting and that kind of stuff, then there's no lava lakes though, so you're going to have to search around for lava. There's just going to be those little, little guys right there. But uh, you could silk touch some grass and put it in the spawn area and possibly animals would spawn I don't know for sure I don't know if they spawn in ocean biomes or not but uh, yeah well, here we go the wasteland when the mods catch up to this you could you can make a nice make a nice fallout map with this get you some get you some weapons going with lands mod and yeah some other you know Zombie le leather the flesh and some other stuff like that. Maybe throw in some angry mobs or whatnot. So, yeah, definitely. So here you go, the uh, the wasteland preset map. And I'm gonna play around with this some more because I love doing these preset maps. And uh, now that we can pre we can customize the overworld, it's just gonna be a blast. So I appreciate you watching, and I will talk to you again next time. Goodbye.